It's been unnerving and shaking up New Brunswickers for weeks. Small earthquakes have been rattling their windows and their nerves. There have been dozens of the quakes in the last month alone in the communities southwest of Fredericton. Seismologists admit they don't know what's causing it, leaving residents to wonder if the big one is about to hit. Ross Lord reports. In the quiet village of McAdam, New Brunswick, they're wondering what's going on down there. The earth is in turmoil, creating dozens of measurable earthquakes in the past month. I believe we've had about 39 altogether of small earthquakes or aftershocks. Most have a magnitude of between one and two. It sounds small, but it's causing some buildings to quiver and knocking pictures off walls. And that's a big deal to the people who live here. This sounds like a lot of dynamite, all of, but all lit at the same time. It's just a great big humongous blast. We've been surprised every time one happens now, we jump and yell. The same way they reacted in central Canada two years ago after a magnitude five earthquake that shook buildings from Sudbury to Quebec City and as far south as New York City. But the McAdam quakes are even rarer. Seismologists call it an earthquake swarm, a large cluster that's extremely unusual in populated areas. And the experts admit they don't know why it's happening. We don't really have um, a good explanation for what has triggered it. Another one, 1.4, 1.2. Mostly it's an audible loud bang uh, in somewhat in the distance, and then you feel a shaking in the house or a thump in the house. In David Blair's house, Natural Resources Canada has installed seismic measuring equipment, one of three seismographs they're using to plot exactly where the ominous rumblings are coming from. They're also updating residents at a public meeting tonight. But with the boxes and wires yet to yield any answers, you can hardly blame people for wondering if the little quakes are the precursor to the big one. Ross Lohr, Global News, Halifax.